Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you guys had a really good week. For today's video, I will be doing the ballpoint pen challenge. So as far as I know, the only rules for this challenge are that you do a drawing with ballpoint pen. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the good things about this challenge is I think it really teaches you a lot of troubleshooting skills for doing art. You don't have a sketch beforehand, you can't erase. So you're kind of just going in blindly and you have to kind of see how things work out. Um, not only teaching you troubleshooting because maybe if you make a wrong line you have to figure out how to cover it up, but I think it's also really good because you have to kind of look at your lines and see what they want to become. Like what are they telling you that this should be? What, what direction should this line go? And it's kind of fun. It's like the drawing telling you what it wants to be, which sounds weird, but it's kind of true too. <laughs> um, so I think it's a really great challenge to do often, and I actually do this often, so I almost feel like I'm cheating by calling this a challenge. I've always drawn in pen every once in a while in my sketchbooks ever since I was young, and I think it does teach a lot of really good things, and I know I already said that, but still. <laughs> so yeah, if you have not drawn in pen of any type, without any sketching. You should totally do that. I think you'll learn a lot and it's a lot of fun. It also kind of shows you what the artist's go-to's are. So as you can see, my go-to is mermaid. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this is a lot of fun. The other artists that I've seen have done this challenge, um, they usually do very careful and very clean artwork and usually a bit more finished than what I'm doing. Um, I just want it to be more natural, so I'm just drawing the way I normally would. So when I do pen drawings, they tend to be a bit more sketchy and just more free, and I draw whatever I kind of feel like it. And I don't know, I just like the sketchy look. So, sorry if you expected something a bit more clean, but I really love to do sketchy work when it comes to pen, so I'm just going to do what I love. And uh, you guys should too, don't worry about the rules when it comes to the challenge, just have fun with it and do what you like. Don't worry so much about every tiny detail. Art is supposed to be about breaking boundaries, not worrying about what boundaries you're following. If that makes sense. Maybe that was weird. I don't know. I always say the weirdest stuff when I record these. <laughs> oh, at this part, my cat was just like obsessed with smelling the ballpoint pen. I don't know why. She's just she went crazy for it. She kept trying to get up on my desk and just sniff the drawing. So I entertained her for a little while there, so she could kind of get over it. But a little bit later, she tries again. It's so cute. I love my cat. She's my little angel. So, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. The first one I did was a mermaid. And um, I ended up doing two different drawings that I recorded. Well, actually, I did quite a few before this because I was just having fun and practicing before I started recording. And it was kind of sad though because in the background you see on the right is a like bluish pen. That one's my Sailor Neptune pen. And I was so sad because while I was practicing for this drawing, I, my, my Sailor Neptune pen died. No! <laughs> the cartridge just completely ran out of ink. I don't think I've ever had a pen completely run out of ink before. That's crazy, but I use that for everything. Like anytime I have to take notes, I just pick up my Sailor Neptune pen. I love it. I hope that I can find a refill for it somewhere. But yeah, so here I'm actually using a Uniball Signo white gel pen. Um, I'm not sure if it's against the rules, but after using the gel pen, I kind of noticed that it was pointless to have used it. So eh, even if I hadn't used it, it would have been the same result. So I wanted to do multiple drawings because I felt like the mermaid wasn't really enough. So I started another one. With this one, I'm being more sketchy and more loose than even the mermaid one. So I just had a lot of fun. I just, I had no idea what I was drawing. I had no idea what direction I was going in. So I just kind of played with making a cool outfit and doing whatever I felt like. So it was a lot of fun. Um, I was actually thinking about uploading this separately, but it turns out the video is slightly out of focus. So I left it together in this video. So you guys get two for the price of one, yay! <laughs> Sounds really stupid, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this girl is. 
I can make a guess. Maybe she's like a circus type girl, or maybe she's a Sailor Moon villain. It kind of gave me a Sailor Moon villain vibe. <laughs> um, for this drawing, I discovered one new technique with ballpoint pen, which was a lot of fun, and I'll show it to you later. Um, one of my early influences with art is actually the artist who did illustrations for a book series called The Worst Witch. I don't know, have you guys ever heard of that? Are you fans of The Worst Witch? I absolutely loved The Worst Witch when I was growing up. Um, the Worst Witch was like something I discovered when I was really young, I think probably between 10 and 12 years old. Um, I found the books at the library and I just fell in love with them. The artwork is just amazing to me. I love the way the artist draws illustrations from The Worst Witch are some of my favorites and that's the number one reason why I actually really like pen drawings because the way the artist draws is all in pen and it just looks amazing and sketchy and kind of gothic and so cool. I just love those illustrations and I actually stole the books. Oh there is the technique. I got some pen on my finger and I realized I could actually smudge it that way which is really nice. I was able to fill in the hair and the tool at her, the side of her skirt and even give her blushes but at this point I was very nervous because I had left the face the last and drawing the face last is very dangerous because that can make or break a drawing. So yeah that's the finished challenge. Here I'm going to be showing you a close-up of all drawings I did, including an extra that I did as a practice at the end. So if you like these drawings, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below so I know that you like them. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not as well. I post new art videos every week on Fridays. Um, if you want to see these drawings up close, you can check out my DeviantArt where I will be posting scans of each drawing. Um, you can also see them on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all my other links which are listed below. So check me out, follow me online, send me a message sometimes. Um, I'd love to get to know you guys a bit more. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to try out this challenge for yourself. Okay, bye. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays